Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing a very strange game. This game is called Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, or Bennett Foddy, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, but that's the title of the game, very, very odd name. I noticed that this game was a top seller on Steam recently, and I had no idea why. I'm guessing a lot of YouTubers have, or maybe streamers, have played this game. <laughs> Uh, but it's a physics-based game where you're this man in this pot. You don't have legs, but you have this, like, axe, and you're supposed to use the axe to, like, swing yourself over. So let me see if I can push myself over this tree without falling. <laughs> Alright, this is a lot harder than it looks. Um, the only control is your mouse. So your mouse pretty much controls where the axe is. Oh my god, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Come on, come on, come on, nope, that was close. Alright, up and over, yes, got it, finally, got past the first freaking obstacle. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Have you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have? Or have you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute? If you won some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, no. and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. So basically, the narrator is basically right. just for like coming with me on this trip. This game is. I don't understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. <laughs> this game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. No. The author of that game is Jazzo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Alright, so the developer is basically just saying that this game is hard, and you're going to have to repeat it over and over again. Uh, you have to start again and again if you mess up. Come on! No. Okay. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. <laughs> oh my god. Real punch in the gut. Oh, man. This narrator is going to piss me off. This game is so freaking hard. I don't get it. Like, I can get up here. You just have to, like, use your momentum to fling yourself up. But when you get to this part, this is where things get tricky. And then you can just push Sorry yourself back off. Oh, man. Game is super annoying. Um, oh, but like I again, keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. I'm not sure if I said this at the beginning. I think I did. But if you guys purchase the October Humble Monthly, you can get this game for free. It'll just be sitting in your uh, Humble account um, under the Humble Monthly for October. Uh, okay. Swing. All right. Maybe that's how I'm supposed to do it. All right. There's a way to like swing yourself. All right. Oh Whoop. crap! No. <laughs> this game is such bullshit. I am getting so. Oh my god. It's so weird because you can like sometimes you can like catapult yourself like so far, but getting up is Whoop. so difficult. All right. This game. The worst part about it is the controls. Like, you have to use your mouse, and you're basically just, like, moving your mouse in circles. And th there's, like, no way to really control. Oh, crap. <sighs> this thing that we call failure is not the falling down, uh. but the staying down. Mary Pickford. I wonder if anyone's gotten past this point. This is so difficult. If someone like got past this on their first try, I'd be so surprised. <gasps> oh. Okay. 
something to do with like flinging yourself up from this point. But the axe does not go in the freaking house, so you have to like fling yourself up really freaking far. <gasps> yes! 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 No! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I did it. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Is that a pipe? Alright, I need to be careful here. I don't want to like fling myself backwards. No! Like, In that... a certain way, okay. sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely game? out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential mm. properties that give the game its flavor. <gasps> no. no amount of oh. forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Yes! Yes! Oh, man. Anyway, when you start sexy no, hiking, no. you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Yes. Most obstacles yes. in video game worlds are yes. fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, yes. every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Oh no. The obstacles what in sexy hiking are unyielding. Talking about. And I've that makes the game sexy, uniquely frustrating. Sexy hiking. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. Whoa. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, Whoa. and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself yes. to make it no. easier. No. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Something real, I don't know what he's talking about. This game is just... It's so frustrating. Alright. Alright, I need to get past this stupid red bridge. I feel like I'm so high in the air, like one wrong move and I'll just like fling myself back downward. Oh my god. So annoying. I'm pretty sure you're supposed. To... Oh god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like I almost had it the one time. I think I'm so I'm supposed to like climb on the rock to the left and then like fling myself backwards. No, 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 no. Oh man, I think I just lost some progress. Wait, wait. I can move my arms back. Okay. I'm starting to learn a little bit on how to do this. You can like move your arms in. No. And then you can like push yourself back in. Okay. It's weird though, because you're like, your little axe. Oh my god. Alright. What if I just aim downward and then fling myself over here? No. No. Oh crap. Oh, oh. This is so. This game, I, I can't play this for much longer. This game is just like inferior, inferior rating. However you say that. Frustrating. I don't even know how to get back up there. I felt like I, I felt like I just like did this and then I just like flung myself up somehow. I don't know how to do that anymore. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh yes, all right. Slow, slow, slow. I'm gonna do this like very slowly this time. Oh my god. It's annoying because your your like axe does not stay in place. How did I stay up there the first time? Oh, I could have had it. If only my axe was point oh, This is so dumb.
it's so stupid because your like axe like falls off half the time. All right, this must be a way to like fling myself over here, maybe. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> okay. <gasps> yes! Come on! No! No! This game is just like making fun of you. Oh. Making fun of me. Uh -uh. Alright, I think I've had enough of this. This is st so stupid. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Okay, so this is just a quick look at uh, whatever the game's called. I don't even remember what it's called. Getting over it with Benin, Benin something. Uh, <laughs> it was interesting, to say the least. Might be kind of fun. I would definitely not recommend paying for something like this. This is more like a like a free test project. It's way too difficult to actually pay money for. Uh, I'm done. This just, game, I just can't handle it anymore. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you pick it up in the Humble Monthly for October if you purchase that bundle. Otherwise, you can get it on Steam. Uh, I'll just quickly look it up real quick if you give me like 20 seconds. I can look up the price. It's $7.99 on Steam. Who in the right mind would pay for this? I have no idea. Uh, this is the type of game you might pay a dollar for it, um, but it's so freaking frustrating. I would, I don't know. I am just, I'm so over it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and have a nice day.